Dwayne, last time you played these guys, they couldn't miss. Uh, tonight, it seemed like you really locked down defensively. What was the difference? Oh, uh, well, I mean, they still hit over 10 threes. Um, you know, this team is going to shoot a lot of threes. They're going to make some. Um, the biggest thing for us was not giving them second chances. You know, up in Orlando, we gave them 17 offensive rebounds. Uh, so tonight, we know we just, when they did miss, we had to get the rebound and we had to get out of transition. You guys kind of missed the drama of a close game? Um, no, I'm sure we have our fair share. You know, right now, we just... You know, we're just playing um, Miami Heat basketball and that's, you know, try to get on defensive end on the floor, um, try to rebound, get out, uh, but also, you know, team basketball. You know, it's, it's very unselfish right now. Guys are moving the ball around and uh, we enjoy playing this way. We enjoy seeing everybody who works hard um, get a chance to play. Um, so, you know, we'll have our close games, I'm sure. Um, but right now, we just we love playing well. Dwayne, you're on one of the hottest shooting streaks in your career. What do you attribute that to? Taking a high percentage shots. Um, and just in a groove, you know, um, um, you know, you, you know, it comes a time in this game where you're going to miss a lot. You're going to have a couple games where you're not, you know, you, you can't find that groove. Then you're going to have some where you, you have it. So I'm just taking advantage of it. Um, and then, like I said, I'm trying to pick my spots right. Um, tonight I missed some easy ones that I wish I can get back, but, um, you know, um, it all averages out. So I'm um, just continue to play and, you know, they put me in good spots. And I'm, like I said, I'm getting back to taking my shots. Um, and, you know, so I'm hitting them. So like you know, your, hot, your hot streak started as a team after you lost to Orlando. I mean, yeah. you've just been blowing people out. What Did anything change after that game? Did that game just make you guys mad? Or, or why? <laughs> and then you, you know, kicked the butt of the team that beat you last time. No, you know, we give credit to them. You know, they, you know, Orlando uh, played very well against us. They shot the ball very well. Um, you know, we, we, we had a little fight in there. We came back, but, you know, they, they did what they supposed to do. They kicked our butt at their place. Um, you know, and we just moved on to the next one. We came in the next day and learned from it, and we moved on. Um, and we just, you know, we've been playing good basketball since. So, you know, going out on that road trip, you know, six games in ten days, uh, we had to come together, or it could have been a long, long trip, um, the places we was going. So, um, you know, we had to get some wins to make make the trip a lot better. No sunlight at all. So um, it was all about, that was the motive, to get some wins, you know, because we didn't want to lose on that trip. It would have been a lot of long film sessions, a lot of long practices, so we had to get it together. Well, it seems like you've been emphasizing getting off to fast starts. Can you talk about that a little bit? You know, it's just the, the way it's going. It's the flow. You know, I don't. I just come in the game looking to play, um, try to be aggressive. But, you know, with our team, it can change any night, um, you, know, with, you know, especially, you know, with, with having guys like LeBron and, and, and Chris, you know, that, that can get it going. So, you know, I'm just, like I said, I'm just playing, and, and whatever the game has called for me to do, I've been doing. Um, and um, it's working for our team right now, so, you know, if we can keep it up. Is this top gear, Dwayne, for this team, or is this just top gear right now? Just right now. Yeah. Please, no ways, because this can't be top gear right now. Um, you know, we want to go to another gear and then another gear. Um, so our next gear would be, you know, tuning up for the playoffs. And our next gear after that would be playoffs. Um, you know, so, you know, we know we still have ways that we can get better. I think right now we're playing the defense that we that we wanted to come into the season plan. Um, unfortunately, you know, we wasn't, but I think we're, we're, we're getting back to doing that. And um, if we sustain that, then we're a pretty good team. We're a tough team to beat. Dwayne, everybody is, uh, you guys have won six in a row, but everybody's talking about Jeremy Lin. You guys feel a little overlooked. No, San Antonio's won 10. <laughs> they should feel overlooked. Orlando's been playing well as well. You know, it's everyone has their time in the sun, you know, and, um, you know, the Knicks is playing well, and, um, you know, it's, it's New York. <laughs> so it, it's all fine with us. We just, you know, in here worried about us and continue to get better, um, you know, and you know, we got two games before the break, so it's our job to protect home court and uh, worry about that. I want to get too far ahead, but one of those games is against Lynn and the Knicks, so what are you thinking about this phenomenon with him? We get there when we get there. Is it nice to be under the radar, though? I mean, are we it's, talking about that? It's fine. It's cool with us. You know, we had a lot of we had a lot of bright lights last year. Um, so for us right now, you know, we just like I said, we just focus on us, and uh, you know, it's a good thing for this team. You know, to be able to do that, to be able to learn, um, you know, learn from our mistakes on the, and not have it, you know, so uh, put out there as much um, as it was last year. So uh, congratulations, congratulations to the Knicks for getting some of that. That son, the Clippers had it early. And then the Knicks took it from the Clippers. Um, so you know, we'll see who get it next. Maybe somebody else will come and get it.